tonight on the eve of the impeachment vote, Duluth gathers to urge action from one of our local lawmakers. And one year later, on the anniversary of a superior landmark going up in flames, what firefighters say they've learned. And later, cabin owners up the North Shore could soon have to reach further into their pockets as they are faced with potentially higher taxes. From CBS3 Duluth, this is the CBS3 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us. We're on the eve of a historic vote in the United States House tomorrow. Yeah, after weeks of back and forth, House Democrats have decided to move forward and hold a vote on the impeachment of President Donald Trump tomorrow. Here in Duluth, a group of protesters held what is being called a, quote, impeachment vigil. This is just one of dozens happening nationwide. Tonight, this group is calling on a local Republican lawmaker to vote yes to impeach. CBS 3's Jesse Slater was there tonight and she brings us the reaction. No one is above the law! No one is above the law! Dozens of protesters lined the corner of Superior Street and Lake Avenue calling for impeachment ahead of Wednesday's historic vote. Our country is at a crisis moment and we really need both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, to come together on behalf of the country. The inquiry to impeach President Trump has been ongoing for weeks and comes after House Democrats believe he abused the power of the office of the president. Democracy dies when Congress is not able to hold the president to, to task. Impeach and the group calling on local Republican Congress members to flip and vote to impeach. impeach and we really care about our democracy and we want to send a message to our representatives uh, to do what's right. Donald Trump has got to go. One lawmaker in particular, Republican Congressman Pete Stauber, whose home office is in Hermantown. They're asking him to what they call stand up to the rule of law. To the testimony that's been given and actually listen to it and uh, present the facts and not the party line. No matter what comes of Wednesday's vote, the group wants to make sure everyone takes part in our democracy. Regardless of what transpires going forward, there is a 2020 election and people need to get out and vote. We'll have more on what's expected on Capitol Hill tomorrow, later in the show. Meanwhile, Congressman Pete Stauber has not spoken directly about impeachment today, but in November, he issued a statement on the ongoing hearings and inquiry, calling it an unfair process lacking in transparency and accusing Democrats of cherry-picking witnesses, limiting Republican questions, and preventing the president's lawyers from taking part. New at 10, construction on a proposed high-rise apartment complex in downtown Duluth is now expected to get underway next spring. Titanium Partners is behind the 15-story 204-unit apartment tower, which would replace the Voyager Inn on East Superior Street. Construction was supposed to start this fall, but was delayed due to financing and bidding. According to the Duluth Economic and Development Authority, the developer needs to secure a lender for tax increment financing. Titanium Partners says it expects to finalize terms by the end of January. Dave, here, Dave is here to talk a little bit about the weather. Dave, it's going to get cold tonight. And you know what's already getting cold yeah. is a cold front charges into our region, backed up by Arctic air that's sending us into a one-day deep freeze. That's the bright spot. It's only a one-day deep freeze. But wind chills, that's a problem. Most of our area tonight covered by either a wind chill advisory or a wind chill warning. And the feels like temperatures out there now are as cold as 33 below in Hibbing, as warm as 2 below in Hayward. But odds are we could be running the range of 30 to even 50 below in the feels like temperatures through tomorrow morning. Our forecast for tomorrow then does say actual air temperatures will be around 20 below to start the day and then we'll slowly warm up as a warm front tries to retake the region. So from a high of six on Wednesday, we could go three times better than that by Thursday. We'll talk about a warm spell then that conquers us for the weekend in just a few more minutes. All right, thanks, Dave. Well, new concerns tonight for a lake community south of Duluth inundated by flooding. It's Sturgeon Lake right off I-35 in northern Pine County. You might remember this scene we showed you back in October. A season of heavy rain left many homes and cabins flooded out with the water barely receding. And that 
is, uh, and this is what it looks like today. Obviously, ice over and snow covered, creating a situation people on the lake call a ticking time bomb come spring. That's why tonight residents of the community are urging for a solution to the problem. CBS 3's John Cardinelli has the story. Bill Yuckout's cabin in Sturgeon Lake holds a special place in his heart. I've been coming up here my whole life, and uh, it's uh, been a really good, happy place for me. But in October, that happy place for Yuckout and many of his neighbors turned into a nightmare when the lake rose to unprecedented levels. Several properties basically were underwater with, and uh, cabins were surrounded with water. In total, $1.3 million in damages for homeowners around the lake. Yuckout is the chair of the High Water Committee for the Windmere Lake and Land Owners Association and says the snow is not helping the high water levels. This whole area cannot take much more water. I mean, we're at record levels now. And basically in the spring, I'm very, very worried about what's going to come of these properties. Which is why the committee and community is now taking action. The community basically has come together and are urging the township to support uh, finding a solution. On Tuesday night, community members went in front of a state senator, state representative, county commissioner, county engineer, and state hydrologist voicing their concerns. All the neighbors want a long-term solution to the problem because the property values are on the way down. And uh, we, we just want to be able to come up here and enjoy um, the cabin again. A first step and a long process to fix the infrastructure of a happy place for many. The next step is to work with the county to fund a feasibility study to look into solutions to solve the water problem. One year ago today, the Globe elevator in Superior went up in flames. Now fire crews are saying they learned a lot from that experience. You'll remember this was the scene shortly after the fire started as flames burned high into the sky. The 100-year-old structure started on fire after a spark ignited sawdust while wood reclamation was being done. Now fire crews say between this fire and the Husky fire, they've learned a lot about command structure, keeping the public informed, and safety. We critiqued this one in spades. Uh, we critiqued it uh, all the way up and down as much as we could. We tried to make sure that everybody learned everything, whether they were on duty or not that day. There's a lot of lessons to be learned here. The Superior Fire Department took salvaged wood and put it along with other things related to the fire on display in their new fire hall. One person died in an early morning fire on the Iron Range. Authorities say the fire broke out just after midnight Tuesday in Hibbing. This is what the scene looks like today, well after the fire has been put out. Several agencies responded to the fire in the 1800 block of 25th Street East. After they put out the flames, crews found a victim inside the home. They were pronounced dead at the scene. The fire destroyed the home. The cause of that fire is currently under investigation. A former NHL player who was hurt while working at a Grand Rapids paper plant has died. Family members say Scott Kleinendorst died around 4 this morning. He was injured in early December while operating a piece of heavy machinery at the UPM Blandin plant. Kleinendorst suffered serious brain trauma which caused life-threatening hemorrhaging in his brain. Minnesota OSHA officials are investigating the incident. We did reach out to officials with the plant. Nobody has responded as of news time. We're hearing from a local group about a posthumous pardon that could be on the way for a man convicted of the sexual assault that led to three black people being lynched in downtown Duluth. Max Mason was among a group of black circus workers uh, accused in the 1920 assault of a white Duluth woman. Three were lynched by a mob, two others went to trial, and Mason was convicted. His supporters believe he was falsely accused and say a pardon would restore justice in a quote, horrific and shameful episode in Minnesota history. Now, a local man who works with the Clayton Jackson McGee Memorial in Duluth says this has been a long time coming. We have an obligation and a responsibility to undo that harm. We put a man in prison who didn't commit a crime, um, at least not the crime that he was accused of. He spent four years in prison that impacted his life. Minnesota's Board of Pardons approved taking up the case this week.
A group of local Santa Santas wore blue today, making sure kids in need have a Merry Christmas. The Duluth Police Department held their Shop with the Cop event this afternoon. They took 32 local kids shopping at Target, gave each of them a $200 gift card to shop with. The kids could pick out gifts for themselves and their families. Now, DPD has been holding this event for the last 10 years. They say it's a great way to connect with the community. Yeah, they look overjoyed every single year. They're so excited to be able to just go and spend without even having to think about it. And the parents like it, too. <laughs> Looks like fun. The department says shop with a comp would not be possible without the help of the Salvation Army, connecting them with local kids. Donations from Target and local police and community organizations help fund the event. Awesome. Still to come on Live Local CBS 3, a proposal that aims to level the playing field in a crowded rental market could cost people who vacation up the North Shore. Details coming up. And later, what tomorrow's impeachment vote could look like after weeks of bipartisan bickering. Record low temp for today, 21 degrees below zero from that Christmas cold snap of 1983. This year, Christmas is going to have a warm spell. Just a one-day cold snap tomorrow, and boy, will it get cold. We'll talk about how low it's going to go coming up next. Toyotathon is on at Cary Toyota in Superior, making now the time to save on an SUV for winter. Get 0% and up to 3500 off 2019 Highlanders. Or get this SR5 Premium 4Runner for just $37,033, a true four-wheel drive vehicle. Plus, with every sale, Cary Toyota will make a donation to the Salvation Army. And our reserve parking spots are back at the Miller Hill Mall. So customers, stop by Cary Toyota and get your parking pass today. Toyotathon is on at Cary Toyota in Superior. Wi-Fi here, Wi-Fi there, Wi-Fi where you've never Wi-Fi before, Wi-Fi beyond walls, beyond boundaries, beyond compare, Wi-Fi like your house is one giant hotspot, the hottest hotspot, sound extreme, it is. From family projects to family get-togethers, Fleet Farm has everything you need. This week, save on men's Field & Forest long-sleeve woven shirts. 30% off our low fleet price. Fleet Farm pistachios, £1, $5.99. Duracell AA and AAA batteries, $11.99. And select Cooper tires. Buy three and get the fourth free. Fleet Farm is built for every season. Fleet Farm. Built for real life. The holiday season is truly the most wonderful time of the year. It's the perfect time to explore Duluth's beautiful downtown waterfront district. Enjoy our lights and sights of the season, local shops, restaurants, and entertainment. Duluth's Greater Downtown Council invites you to experience our city anew. Come downtown to find the perfect gift, enjoy a delicious meal, and reconnect with family and friends. Shop, dine, and celebrate together in Duluth's downtown waterfront district this holiday season. At Papa Murphy's, put your sweatpants on, turn your oven on, and get your garlic on. Because right now you can get a large chicken garlic pizza for just $10. Your night is on. We make it, you bake it. Papa Murphy's. For New Year's Eve only, join the DSSO in the ultimate Rocky Horror Picture Show experience. Live and in concert. Visit DSSO.com for tickets. Now, the CBS3 Duluth WeatherMax forecast with meteorologist Dave Anderson. Cold air is charging into our region here tonight, kicking up a straight-up wind chill warning for the arrowhead of Minnesota till about 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. The rest of our area in Minnesota looking at a wind chill advisory for the same time frame and a good slice of northwestern Wisconsin as well. Upper Peninsula off the hook this time around, but as far as the air temperatures go, the actual air temps tomorrow morning, 15 to 25 below, and the feels-like temperatures with the wind chill factored in, 30 to 50 below. But on a bright note, it's a one-day cold snap, and we'll start to get warmer perhaps as early as Thursday, but probably not Wednesday. And right now it's down to 8 below actual air temperature at the airport in Duluth with a clear sky from Arctic high pressure. Northerly, northwesterly wind is going 12 miles per hour, could kick up towards 20. Hence the wind chill advisories and warnings around the area. Relative humidity, 68%. Air pressure high at 30.27. Air temperatures. 
Well, already getting pretty brisk. 24 below for Big Fork. 8 degrees below zero, like we mentioned, near Hermantown. 6 below Moose Lake, but 15 below in Ely. Zero in Ashland, right by the lake, gives way to 4 below in Solon Springs at the airport. Still 5 above in Watersmeet. But we'll all get pretty chilly here tonight. So chilly that I'm so excited I dropped my clicker. I have to bend down out of screen and pick that up again. First time in 25 years I... I think I've dropped this thing. That shows you how cold it's going to be getting. Right now, well, the colder air is charging into much of the area, and its advance is triggering a couple of snow showers here and there, really just flurries, shouldn't add up to much at all. The cold will linger through tomorrow with daytime highs tomorrow afternoon, only in the single digits, but at least above zero. The change is in sight, though, beginning perhaps as early as tomorrow afternoon as that warm front from the west starts to approach our area. And once we get into Thursday, we go back towards 20 above, which will usher in a warm spell that could be with us for the weekend and perhaps for next week during the holidays as well. So not like 1983 when it was hitting 30 below up around Ely, Witten, and Cedar Lake up the Cloquet Line. I remember that one pretty well in high school. Had to feed my friend's goats, while, of all things, while he was off on vacation someplace warmer, I'm sure. Tonight, not so warm in Minnesota. 15 to 25 below for the air temps. Clear and cold. Wind chill numbers 30 to 50 below. Wisconsin, Michigan, 12 to 20 below there, clear and cold. Tomorrow, maybe some afternoon flurries as that warm front gets a little bit closer. Wisconsin, Michigan, temps as warm as 9. Minnesota temps, uh, high-wise, 5 to 9 with afternoon flurries. But those will be a short-lived phenomenon because that 30% flurry chance on Wednesday afternoon goes away to a partly cloudy sky on Thursday. And then we hit 20 above Tony and Kristen. 28 above on Friday with maybe a few more follow-up flurries. Then 30s from Saturday through next Monday. Thanks, Dave. Well, a change in the new year could have some Minnesota cabin owners paying roughly triple for their property. The larger tax bills are meant to level the playing field in a crowded rental market. WCCO's Liz Collin explains why the move could ultimately cost families vacationing up north. In sub-zero temperatures, an icy Lake Superior can still be heard from the streets of Grand Marais. But this December, it's a tax debate making the biggest waves. It's very concerning. Mike Larson's Cascade Vacation Rentals manages 170 properties in Lake and Cook counties. From small cabins with sweeping views of the lake to townhomes and condos. Like for a Twin Cities family who frequently rents this two-bedroom when they're not able to be here. Now a new tax classification may have them rethinking that decision. They had noted that their taxes uh, several years ago were $3,300. They've gone up to $5,800, and this property will probably go to $17,000. A property tax bill nearly triple. This past spring, the Department of Revenue sent this memo to Minnesota's 87 county assessors who have the role of viewing and classifying property based on primary use. The office says assessors asked for the guidance as the popularity of VRBO and Airbnb rentals have soared. In the past, properties have fallen under a seasonal recreational class, one of the lowest rates in Minnesota's property tax system. The memo clarifies the classification to a short-term rental and what's known as 3A commercial the highest rate. In Cook County, this change will mean higher tax bills for more than 600 recreational properties. That's about 10 percent of the total real estate value in this county alone. Right now we're in kind of a tough spot. Cook County Assessor Bob Thompson is now trying to properly classify rental property in his area. He's watched as corporations buy up properties, remodel, and start renting. I think that any assessor sitting in my seat would have would have paid attention to that type of activity. Conversations from a local hotel owner, he says only confirmed his suspicions. In 2019, he had about 800 less nightly rentals of his hotel. Meaning people are staying elsewhere. Thompson believes the move is meant to level the playing field. The economic impact is significant. But Larson sees serious consequences for his company and for anyone else who rents in a local economy that is nearly 80 percent dependent on tourism dollars. Where does it all start? It starts with heads and beds, right? Larson thinks renters will have no choice but to raise rates or get out of the venture altogether. He's one of many asking for a pause to give lawmakers a say. Before the shifting landscape melts options in northern Minnesota. A spokesperson told WCCO that Governor Tim Walz is open to a new proposal. Still to come online. Local CBS 3, a tale of two parties. Democrats are expecting to impeach the president tomorrow, while Republicans look towards a trial in the new year.
CBS3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Toyota. New state-of-the-art dealership. Same President's Award-winning service. KohlerToyota.com. Toyota-thon is... Oh, wait. Toyota-thon is on. Come in today. Right now, get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2019 Highlander. That's a wrap. Toyota, let's go places. Pizza is the family favorite choice for pizza, Italian food, and sandwiches. Dine in, pick up car side, take and bake, or order Coop's frozen pizza online and get the great taste and fresh ingredients delivered for you to enjoy whenever you want. Coop's Pizza, Hayward, Wisconsin. Have you been thinking of a new kitchen? Turn drab into fabs. Skip's Home Center can make your outdated cooking space shine again with a new 10x10 oak kitchen for as little as $1,675. We have the largest selection of in-stock cabinets in the Northland and an outstanding team of professionals who can answer or any questions you have. We also offer an at-home design viewer before purchasing so you know exactly how it'll look before owning. By today, enjoy your new kitchen tonight. Visit us online at skipshomecenter.com or stop in and see our showroom at 4728 Rice Lake Road in Duluth. The Dish Voice Remote just got even more powerful. Why did we put so much technology in there? You don't think I've watched a lot of football? You want to put a little wager on it? Bet. So you can settle that bet without ever taking your eyes off the game. How many D1 football teams are there? What you do with that power? Oh, it's gotta hurt. Well, that Woo, is right. totally up to you. Don't look so sad, man. Come on, we're having fun. New Dish Voice Remote with the Google Assistant. Dish, tuned in to you. Around here, we like our winters snowy. And we like them cold. Some might say that's not ordinary. But then, this isn't your ordinary casino. Get away from it all with Legendary Waters Resort and Casino's Hotel Winter Special. A Queen or King Deluxe is only $59 on select days. And there's plenty to keep you warm this winter. Legendary Waters Resort and Casino. Escape Ordinary. Experience Legendary. Toyotathon is... Oh, wait. Toyotathon is on. Come in today. Right now, get 0% APR for 60 months on a new 2019 Highlander. That's a wrap. Toyota, let's go places. Mega Point Multiplier, Fridays at the Bear. If you turn on our newscast, you're almost guaranteed to not see any national news. We're going to give you 30 minutes of news that's happening in the Northland. Watch Anthony Mann weekdays at 6 and 10 p.m. on live local CBS3 Duluth. Rules for the House impeachment debate are uh, the House impeachment debate vote are now set. The House Rules Committee tonight voted along party lines to approve six hours of debate tomorrow, and with no amendments allowed, separate votes will be held for each of the two articles of impeachment against President Trump. The president faces two charges: abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. As previously reported, Democrats say the president pressured Ukraine to announce an investigation into his political rival, Joe Biden, and then blocked White House officials from complying with the House inquiry. The impeachment vote is expected to pass the Democratic-controlled House. However, a subsequent trial in the Republican-controlled Senate is already sparking debate between party leaders. Majority Leader Mitch McConnell took aim at Minority Leader Chuck Schumer's request for fresh testimony from top White House officials. The Senate Majority Leader has said a trial will be the first order of business in the new year, but the timing and format remain unclear. Well, I guess coming up in sports, here she comes. Here Come she on comes. in, Kelly. Here she comes. Lots of sports action. I was just working Straight on from the yeah. hockey rink, right? Straight from the ice <laughs> itself. we got a big matchup to cover over in Hermantown at the Hermantown Arena. Sports is next. Stick around. Eye on Mining is brought to you by Range Regional Airport. Imagine building your Range Regional Airport without the mining industry. Now, imagine air travel without mining. We couldn't imagine that either. Welcome to Range Regional Airport, serving and supporting the Iron Range. At Chevy, we're all about bringing families together. 
This time of year, that's really important. That's why our Chevy employee discount is now available to everyone. The Chevy price you pay is what we pay. Not a cent more. Family is important to us. So happy holidays. And welcome to the family. It's Chevy family. Use your Chevy employee discount for everyone to get a total value of over $11,800 on this Silverado All-Star. Get the Chevy employee discount for everyone today. My name is Dan Metcalf. I'm a general surgeon and a colorectal surgeon at Memorial Medical Center. I bring a new set of skills to Ashland, and uh, some of what Ashland would allow me is a culture that is very patient-centered. That's a really important part of surgery or medicine in general, is really getting to know the people that you're taking care of. I get the joy of seeing patients every day and, and taking care of people every day and learning about their lives as well as uh, um, fixing them. Get out and experience the great outdoors this winter with gear from your friends at Continental Ski and Bike. Continental has Alpine, Nordic, and fat biking gear for the whole family. Looking to tune your current gear? Let Continental Technicians tune up your skis for your next adventure. Your water softener needs salt. You buy it, lug it, pour it over and over. Save salt and the hassle with a Culligan High Efficiency Water Softener. The world's best. Click or call Culligan Water and start saving today. Because Mike Bloomberg helped close hundreds of polluting plants, fewer kids will suffer asthma attacks. Because Mike helped pass laws reducing teen smoking and vaping, fewer kids will become addicted to nicotine. And because Mike helped pass laws keeping guns away from domestic abusers, fewer families will fall victim to gun violence. Mike's always fought for America's future, which is why he's fighting the very biggest threat to it. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. Buying a car is a big deal. We get that. At Washkies, we're not here to sell you a vehicle. We're here to help you find your vehicle. You'll wrap up tremendous savings with a red bow. Now with Employee Pricing Plus rebates on most new Cadillac, Buick, GMC, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Rams. An unprecedented offer, making now a historic time to save. Washkies has over 300 vehicles to choose from and a great team to help find the right vehicle for you. Imagine building your range regional airport without the mining industry. Now, imagine air travel without mining. We couldn't imagine that either. Welcome to Range Regional Airport, serving and supporting the Iron Range. Now, CBS 3 Sports with Kelly Hinson. It may be getting close to that holiday wind down for a lot of sports, but not for high school athletics, especially high school hockey. Tonight was jam-packed. Full of action throughout the area. Couldn't find a parking spot at Hermantown Arena. The Hawks welcome in Duluth Denfeld for a big one. First period, the Hawks put the shots on early. Blake Biondi skates around his defender. All in his lonesome gets this one to go with the flip. They take a 1-0 lead. Sean Eastie put a stop to most of them in the first, though. Hermantown ended the period with 18 shots on goal. Eastie stopped 16 of them about two minutes to go now hawks net another one this time it's zach kylan with the assist from biondi this time they head into the first intermission with a two nothing lead biondi has four of herman town's six goals total they win it handedly this evening boys basketball action across the bridge superior hosting chippewa falls chippewa falls playing from behind in the first peyton rogers schmidt collects the rebound tosses to nick bruder who launches off one from behind the arc and nails the three. Midway through the first quarter, Joey Barker for three sinks it. That extends the Spartans' lead now to seven. Still in the first, Joey Barker feeds it to Lars Olsen from the corner. Olsen drives it in from the top of the key and drops it in. Spartans extend the lead to six. Final score, Chippewa falls 60, superior 52. Big thanks to our director, Jack, for shooting that game this evening. Over to the Heritage Center, Duluth East hosting Centennial. Scoreless after one, but just three minutes into the second, the Hounds strike. Garrett Johnson, bar down from the point, makes it one nothing. A few short minutes after that, he's in the near same spot, but this time he goes low. Duluth East grabs a 2 nothing lead with all the momentum. Nolan Aleph coming in with it, all sorts of dangles. I still don't know how that puck stayed out of the net. East adds two more in the third though and they get a much needed 4 nothing shutout win. 
In Wisconsin, Superior is the fourth-ranked team in D2. Jake Ganon, Chippewa Falls for first period. Cards on the power play. Isaac Burnett to Isaac Lindstrom, who goes 5-0-4, the goal. But later on, Spartans with a power play of their own. Sean McOcean's one-timer is denied. TJ Siddick with the rebound to tie the game up, but it's not quite enough. Isaac Lindstrom again in the right place at the right time. The Spartans force overtime, but Lindstrom collects a hat trick. Game winner, Chippewa Falls, takes it 3-2. to two. Rhett and Mike McDonald have some history beyond the average father-son relationship. They coach section rival boys basketball at rival basketball programs and have a long history of both regular season matchups. Well, tonight, they met again. Oh, this is always a fun game, believe it or not. Um, there's a, a little extra emotion with it. Um, our teams have been pretty good over the last couple of years, but certainly complicates Christmas a little bit here coming up. So who takes the Christmas bragging rights? Cambridge, Isanti, and Duluth East. Opening Hounds possession, Giovanni Salvador gets the feed from Will Van Scoy. Buckets from downtown. Duluth East takes the lead. Couple minutes later, Salvador is falling out of bounds, but finds Maddie Thompson in the nick of time. Hounds by three. Rhett is loving the intensity of his team. Ends up being a really great game down to the wire, but Cambridge Isanti pulls it out late, and Dad gets the last laugh this time. Duluth East falls 69-65, to 65, the final. And the Wild, at last check, tied at one, a piece in the... Towards the end of the second. Towards the end of the second. Thank you, Tony. That is going to do it for sports. We'll be right back after the break. CBS 3 Closed Captioning is brought to you by Essentia Health. May hope brighten your holiday and inspire you in the new year. Happy holidays from Essentia Health. You could win 5,000 big ones at Fleet Farm in our Big Bucks giveaway. To enter, buy anything online and pick it up in store. Just click it, we'll pick it, and you could win big. Fleet Farm. Gifts are big here. When looking for a TV and internet provider, we know you have a choice. This is Jessica. She still has satellite TV. Well, I get tons of HD. Spectrum has tons of HD. And we get exclusive access to premium original content with Spectrum Originals. I don't have that. Plus, sometimes in the rain, our services go out. Because of the dish on your roof? Get Spectrum TV from $44.99 a month. Call 833-916-4499. And Spectrum Internet starts at 100 megabits with no data caps and a free modem. We have to get internet from another company, and it isn't nearly as fast. Spectrum Internet, $44.99 a month. I'd switch, but I'm stuck in a contract and would have to pay up to $480 to cancel. Spectrum has no contracts, and they'll pay up to $500 to help you out of your that's it. I'm switching to Spectrum. Get Spectrum TV and Internet from $44.99 a month each. Call 833-916-4499. It's a holiday hoop vlog now through December 25th at Fond du Casino. Every Wednesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m., including Christmas Day, 25 names will be randomly drawn to play for holiday cash and prizes. You could jump into the money booth, play the disco board, or take a spin on the big prize wheel. Stop by the Players Club or log on to FondaloupeCasino.com for all the participation details. Wednesdays and Thursdays, come in for the games, cash, and prizes at the Holiday Hoopla and have a great time out at Fondaloo. When you share the love, you change lives. Over 2,200 wishes granted, more than 57,000 pets supported, over 100 national parks protected, over 2 million meals provided. Through the Subaru Share the Love event, Subaru will have proudly donated over $170 million to national and hometown charities over 12 years. Visit Miller Hill Subaru today during the Subaru Share the Love event, going on now through January 2nd. Visit us online at MillerHill.com. Fleet Farm has every gift for every list. We've got the biggest selection and the biggest savings on everything your loved ones are big into. Like for the person who's big into naps, get a MyPillow for only $29.99. Fleet Farm. Gifts are big here. Men's Wardrobe by Mainstream Fashions for Men. The annual gift giver sale is going on now through December 31st. Mainstream. Open Sundays, noon to 4, until Christmas. All right, Dave, I'm just going to let you take it away because there's a lot going on tonight. 
Yeah, we have some cold weather to watch out for tonight everywhere but the UP. And even in the UP, they'll get as cold as 12 below actual air temperature. But for the rest of the region, 15 to 25 below. And with winds going towards 20 miles per hour from the northwest, we get a wind chill warning for the Arrowhead of Minnesota. Cook and Lake Counties, wind chill advisory for much of the rest of the region. Taking a look at what's going on right now in Ely, it looks nice but cold. 8 below Duluth International. But it's going to only be a one-day warm-up or cool-down. The seven-day forecast shows things better by Thursday. All right. Bundle up. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow.